to get to this breaking news. Tory Lanez has been found guilty on all three charges for the shooting of Megan the Stallion. The charges are assault with a semi-automatic firearm, carrying a loaded unregistered firearm in a vehicle, and discharging a firearm with gross negligence. Now, he faces a maximum sentence of up to 22 years in prison and could possibly be deported to Canada. I know he was on probation, right? So, uh, Al, let's start with you. What are your thoughts on, on this verdict? I, are you surprised? Listen, the courts have spoken. Um, and, you know, the other interesting part, which I kind of felt a guilty uh, verdict coming because they didn't take much time deliberating. Mm -hmm. And they were very clear that they wanted to get this taken care of and closed out before Christmas. And that's exactly what they did. Okay. All right. 22 years up facing. Q, what do you think about this? Are you, did you, are you surprised or did you, uh, I was surprised. I, I, you know what, I'm really surprised, especially when they said that they had the eyewitness testimony that he saw a female shoot. I thought that that was going to confuse and hang the jury and that the state was not going to be able to prove their case beyond a reasonable doubt. I was very shocked when I got this verdict, but, you know, I'm glad that Meg got her justice. Y'all kept hollering about the truth to come out in court. The truth came out in court. So let's leave Meg alone. Let's stop calling her a liar. Let's put this to bed. And, you know, the fat lady has sung. It is what it is at this point. But you watch the trolls still find a way to implement their cognitive dissonance and find some way to still find her wrong, even though the courts have spoken. Oh, I definitely think she's going to be vilified. And it's like it's her fault. And once again, it wasn't her bringing charges. It was a state that brought charges. Um, I, I will say this. Um, there's already people coming up with conspiracy theories and blaming Rock Nation and the dad was outside the courtroom yelling and saying all kinds of stuff. Um, and, you know, I get that he's upset. I really think, I guess I see in some, in some cases why people don't take the stand in their own trial, but I feel like if I was fighting for my life, I'd probably want the people to hear from me. Um, and I, I was surprised with all the different versions that came out. That kind of goes to show us though, we got a lot of like, YouTubers and bloggers that were in the courtroom. And there were some talk about people thinking that some of them were biased or paid by, you know, I, I feel like we weren't getting the an unbiased version from some of the people that were in there. And some people tried, but uh, obviously the jury saw something that we didn't get, you know? Mm -hmm. You know what, I wish they would have televised the trial because like I said, with them having that testimony that the witness saw a female shoot I just knew that that was going to tie the jury up. Right. I just knew they were going to be like, well, how can we prove his bullet hit her and not hers? You know what I'm saying? Then she had that immunity deal, which was confusing the hell out of me. So I'm very surprised at his verdict. And for them to come back with such a succinct verdict, I'd be curious to know what evidence was presented to them that gave them no uh, you know, doubt in this case. Probably yeah. the apology, the bribery, the alleged bribery. The text messages. The text messages. Because well, like, yeah, that happened yeah. right after. And her saying, yeah. Meg, uh, you totally shot Meg right away. You know, Al? You, I think probably also, guys, remember when they go into deliberation, um, they're told what they can use to come to the conclusion and what they can't. So it appears to me that they were given specific things that they could use to make their judgment and the things that we also heard around the smoke around this, they were not allowed to use as they made their decisions. Yeah. I mean, you can say that all day long, but people still gonna go with what's in there. And you can tell them, you know what right. I'm saying? People still gonna go with what they feel. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think Tory did himself any favor himself any favors when he made the song chopping off the horse's legs and the taunting. I think that doesn't buy you know the jury's not supposed to know about that, but they do people do hear about things, you yeah. know. And it's them unfortunate. Text, them text messages. I mean that that whole I'll give you a million dollars, that right there is, says guilt. Uh, innocent man probably wouldn't do that, right? Right. All right. Well, it, it's unfortunate that a very a, a talented uh person, uh actually they both are. Like they both their lives are definitely affected for the for the rest of their lives. Both Let me ask you this before we move on. In in fairness, how much time do you think he should get? I think twenty. I, I don't think he's going to get twenty years, twenty two no. years, and I think that's a lot of time. But reasonably, as a woman, how much time do you feel he should get? Mm, somewhere around the three year, three to five, maybe. I don't think it's a ten year thing. I think people get you know people murderers get off less than that. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. rapists. So I, I don't think it's a long 22 years. I think that's excessive. 
Um, doesn't help him that he has three different charges, though, and he was on probation, right? So I, I, I don't think this should be a, this should definitely not be in the double digits, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. In my opinion. All right, y'all, moving on. Uh, according to Law Crime News senior reporter Megan Cuniff, uh, Tory Lanez uh, was reprimanded on the rem- remanded on the spot and led in handcuffs by sheriff's deputies. Uh, Cuniff tweeted, Tory Lanez's father stood up and uh, stood up and screamed, this is a wicked system. He also screamed at the prosecutors that they are evil and they know exactly why they did what they did here. Cuniff also tweeted, one woman turned and looked at the reporters sitting behind her, including me, and said, Jay-Z is a bleep. Report that, Jay-Z is a bleep. Uh, what, I was gonna ask you, what are your thoughts on, on the family calling out Jay? I, I, I gotta say this real quick. Throughout this entire ordeal, Everyone has been twisting themselves in pretzels to blame everybody except the person that's being accused here. And at some point, we got to stop. And, and, and all these conspiracy theories, it's Jay-Z, it's this one, it's that one. Jay-Z did not go to that party. He didn't make you get into a fight with these, lady, these ladies. He didn't make you shoot a gun. He didn't make you do these things. So how did he set you up? Q, I see you reacting. What do you think about this? I laugh because Jay-Z was somewhere reading Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to them invisible twins that our ass haven't seen. And now all of a sudden he sold up in this doggone mess. I would love for, for the stepmom to sit down and do an interview with Gail King or Robert Roberts, Robin Roberts, and tell us how she's come to the conclusion that Rock Nation and Jay-Z is behind this. I mean. Cognitive dissonance, guys, is just something that that really astounds me. Mm. Ma'am, your stepson was there with the gun. Uh, how does Jay-Z factor into the equation? And if Tori didn't take, like, if he would have gotten this in and said, listen, I shot up when I saw these girls fighting. Yes, but he also said Kelsey didn't shoot her. And Jay-Z made him send the text messages offering Meg a million dollars. Jay-Z did all that. Right. Yeah. All right, y'all. Um, Al, any thoughts on that before we move uh, on? 